Well, what's up y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl elise michelle and if you're new here i do all things like lifestyle mommyhood exploring your 20s like i do it all um today i wanted to talk to y'all about five things i wish i knew before i became a mom um <clears throat> if you don't know i am a mom to a 19 month old i had her when i was 22 going on 23 I had just graduated college. I was at the time in a, <clears throat> my voice, I had just graduated college. And at the time I was in a, a grad program. So just to kind of like give you a mentality of like where my mind was at when I was pregnant. And I also had her two months early. So back, quick little backstory. If you want to know more about that, there's videos on my channel. Yeah, but let's go ahead and get into the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, number one, um, labor is not what they tell you. It's not what they tell you. The number one thing I heard before I got pregnant, when I was pregnant, was, oh, it feels like really bad cramps. It don't feel like really bad cramps, okay? Um, and then, okay, before I get too deep, this is my experience and based off of people that like I've talked to, like my sister just had a baby. So this is my experience. But um, when I went into labor, it felt like I had to take a big, big poop. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, I feel like as, as the contractions go, you know, further and closer and you get deeper into active labor, yeah, you feel them in your stomach, but like my first contractions, I was feeling in my back. So if you a girly who have like really bad like butt cramps and like really bad like back pain when you on your period or period medicine then you could say it feel like a really bad cramp it's like a really bad butt cramp not a really bad cramp and people just be like you like some moms like older moms like my mom they be like oh you know once you have the baby like i don't really remember like how labor went i mean and I remember. You remember. Okay. And I was drugged up because I had a C-section. So, my I had a C-section. So, I didn't actually push my baby out. But I was in labor for 25 hours. No epidural. So, I felt all the contractions. I was I was contracting and I was in labor with Pitocin for an hour without an epidural. I didn't get epidural until they put me on that table, y'all. I wanted to be natural didn't work out but um yeah so <laughs> i remember everything so everything yeah and that's okay like i would still do it again but i remember everything so really in conclusion your labor is your story your experience is your experience it's really nothing that can prepare you for how your labor is gonna go because your labor could last days, it could last hours, it could, you could not know you in labor until it's time to get it going, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just depends, but all the stories I heard about labor, they didn't really ring true to my situation. So I wish I knew before becoming a mom to not hold so much weight on what other people tell you. You know, and I'm not talking about like a doula or a midwife or a doctor. I'm talking about like family, friends, strangers, because they be having a lot to say. Like, you just can't hold what they say with so much weight because it's going to be different when you do it. Okay, number two. Everybody tells you, or you just see on my social media, like if you're a new mom or you're a soon mom, you seem like on TikTok, Instagram, whatever. People say like your friends change up when you have a baby. Now, I'm not saying that's not true because for a lot of people, I know that is their experience. But the reason why I put this on the list is because it's not just your friends. Like you change up and you affect your relationships. So, um, now granted, I did have a couple friends, couple male friends that I was really close with before I had a baby, like platonic male friends that I felt like really didn't know what to do when I had a baby. So we kind of like, drifted off but as far as my female friends like my close home girls they was trying to make an effort and mind you we 22 23 so like they have no idea nobody was trying to have no baby 
I had a baby. But I feel like when you're a new mom, especially during postpartum, whether you got postpartum depression or just during postpartum, it's like, it can go either one or two ways. You can want to hang out and like get out there and like, you know, get out the house because you're trying to get your life back or whatever, which is going to bring me to my next point. Or it's not just your friends. So like when you have a baby, the first few months, personally, I was super antisocial. I was super into my child. Like, and I was breastfeeding, so breastfeeding plays a huge role in what I'm about to say. So if you're breastfeeding, you really don't feel like you have a life. Your life is provided for the baby, especially if it's a little tougher to breastfeed or your child is like constantly feeding. Like, I feel like my child cluster fed for like three months. Um, what is going out like? What is, what is leaving your child? So because of that, and it also like the minute you get some peace and quiet, the minute your baby sleep, if you got a partner, <clears throat> your partner sleep, and your phone ring, you're not answering it. I want to watch one TV show, one TV show without having a responsibility. I'm not answering a phone call. I didn't answer nobody's phone call for like three months. I didn't respond to group texts, or it would be stuff like, okay, we finally planned something, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna go. The day come, you're not going. Like, so just, you know, when it comes to friendships, if you're a new mom or if you're a mom and you just kind of feel like your friends aren't doing enough, especially if you're a young mom, I had to realize that, like, my friends were trying to be there for me, but also they were trying to, like, give me space, but also trying to, like, figure out what to do because this is their first time having their best friend who used to be partying every weekend, drunk all the time, lit, turned, hot girl, summer. She mom now, and she like a full mom, and she like into it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was into it. I am into it. So, yeah, like, it's not just your friends who switch up. You switch up too. And if you want that relationship, you need to really work at it when the time is right. Like, obviously, doing postpartum, they just don't have to understand, like, I'm dealing with some stuff. You know what I'm saying? But when the time is right, Y'all need to both make an effort. Y'all both are not making an effort. The relationship is not going to succeed. Also, and if your friends switch up on you, you have a baby, that wasn't supposed to be your friend because all my good girls, all my good girlfriends is still here. I only got like four or five. But they all are still here. Even the ones who don't like kids. So, <clears throat> they aunties now. You know what I'm saying? Okay, number three is, so they tell you also, like, you hear a lot, number three, number three is, you hear a lot of times moms specifically say, I can't wait to get back to the old me. Especially when you're pregnant. When you're pregnant, when I was pregnant, I'm like, I can't wait to get back to the old me. I'm telling my boyfriend, like, don't trip. Because, you know, we didn't plan on having a kid, so he would be worried, like, you're not going to be the same. I'm like, don't worry, like, I'm going to get back to old me. I'm going to find myself, like, it's going to be okay. And it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. But... Once you become a mom, there is not going to be, like, mom you and old you at the same time. You could be a new you. Like, I feel like once you become a mom, you have to discover yourself outside of motherhood, obviously. But whoever you are after becoming a mom is not who you are before becoming a mom. Just realistically. Like, before I became a mom, I was a college student. I was a wild child. I was partying all the time. No matter how much I create a space for me to be myself, I am not going to be that same person because I am a mom. And no matter what, your brain is going to always, in some shape or form, consider the fact that you're a mom. Even when I went on my first girls trip this year, we went to Cancun and we picking out excursions, I don't want to go bungee jumping because I got to go home to my kid. Like, that means that I was on a trip thinking about my kids all the time. No, I was on a trip drunk out of my mind. But there are still just decisions that you make because you have a child. And even better than that, you just mature. Like, literally, if nothing else changes you, the actual act of, like, laboring and having a child, C-section or natural, it's going to change your mentality. So... <clears throat> I hate to break it to you, sis. If you out there, you pregnant, you trying to have a baby, and you think you're going to be able to get back to the old you once the baby there. Now, 
physically sure it's possible i'm not there yet i'm trying but i'm, I'm his brother too it's not gonna happen you are gonna become a better version of yourself you know you just gotta work towards it and you gotta let go of the old you so that you come a new you and just in general you're gonna be older like when i had my kid i was 22 i'm 24 about to be 25 in a few months i just can't be 22 years, uh at least no more it's not possible now with all that i just said Number four is not really a contradiction, but it's important. And this is for like moms who like me have like a lot of anxiety, um, who, you know, are like really attached to their baby, like especially like breastfeeding moms. And even non breastfeeding moms, if you're just really attached to your kid and you have a hard time like leaving your kid for even a couple hours, because that was me in the beginning, it is so important. It is so important. It is so healthy for you to have time away from your kid. Kids, plural, I don't know how many you got. It's really important. The first eight, nine months of me having a child, I think I might have left her three hours. I was so attached to being by her. And it plays a part in how we are now. Like she's 19 months and I'm still working on like that like I don't want to call it clingy because she a baby, but just like, you know, she be on my body. I can't walk. So it's important for you though, mentally, to just leave your child. And it's healthy for both of y'all to create that space. I don't want to rush y'all into like taking a girl trip. I didn't take a girl trip until my child was one and some change, like 15 months. And I had a girl trip planned when she was like, 11 10 months and i canceled it because i'm not saying it's gonna be easy i'm not saying rush into it but i am saying it's important like having girls nights getting back to doing the things that you like to do without your child if you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend finding that balance of knowing when to take a date without your child you know find somebody you trust i hope that you have somebody you trust that can watch your baby whether it's your mom or your best friend like i don't know you know what i'm saying or your boyfriend's sister like find somebody you trust to watch the baby so that you can have your time even if it's you time how you have your significant other watch your baby but you need to have time away from your kid and <clears throat> i'm in some like facebook mom groups and all the moms who have other kids said like once you do it you are able to breathe and it makes it easier so like before my girls trip i went to atlanta for my birthday with my brother his girlfriend and my boyfriend and we both left our kids with my mom we both left our kids with my mom my mom is watched their kid because their kids like four but you know it was like a four night trip but it was fun like so you my boyfriend we both we both needed that it helped our relationship it helped me it helped my daughter to get more comfortable like she go to daycare so like she, you know she more comfortable being away for the day coming back or whatever but you have to figure out a balance to have some new time and it's not easy and i'm not saying you're not gonna think about her and you know i look at pictures like when i'm on a plane going somewhere with my kid i'm looking at her pictures the whole plane ride it is what it is but you gotta get some new time it's important like it is especially if you've been a cow like i was a cow for a year you know like a legitimate cow and now i'm a human being and that's important to me you know what i'm saying and then the final thing that I wish I knew before having a kid, and I think this is the one that like all parents can agree with, is like time moves so fast. Like I'm sitting here thinking like time moves so fast. Like I said, I had my daughter two months early, so she was a preemie and she was in the NICU for a month. That month in NICU went by so slow with her not being here. But as soon as she got home, time just started like spiraling. Like, I have a 19 month old. I can't even fathom or imagine me having a 19 month old. But she be looking me dead in my face. Like, I remember, and it's like, I say that because as your kids are growing, especially in this young age from like zero to three, when they like are developing, you're gonna be pushing for stuff. Like, 
you know, plus, okay, and then mine is a little different because she's a preemie, so, like, preemies, they, they clock is off, but she pretty much on, like, regular baby time now, but all parents, period, you pushing for stuff. When is my kid going to crawl? When is my kid going to walk? When is my kid going to talk? When can I give them silence? You know what I'm saying? When can they get in their own bed? All of these things, but I guarantee you, and I'm not saying, like, oh, you're going to miss it, so cherish it. Obviously, cherish it. And you might not miss some of these things, but you saying like when they're gonna get in their own bed and then one day you look up and they don't wanna cuddle with you. They wanna put me down. Or you saying when are they gonna walk and you chasing them and they don't and they not coming to you. You know what I'm saying? Like or they playing on their own or they independent or they feeding themselves like now y'all talking, you know what she's saying. And you just remember when they used to just be two, three months old. And all they wanted to do, all they could do is lay right here on your chest and fall asleep and drink milk. And that's never going to like, like, being a toddler, well, being an infant is the shortest phase of a kid's life. It's only a year. And then being a toddler is only like three, four years. And you're going to be a mom for all your life. So, like, time moves so fast. Like, she'll be two in March. It's literally October. I just remember having a whole birthday party for her, which was one. I did too much. I'm not doing that again. But just really just as you're raising your kids and you're going day to day, cherish every moment. Like, if you don't feel like playing with them, you know, try maybe. But if you don't play playing with them, I mean, because I'm not, you know, that is dad's job. Dad play with kids. We could do, like, puzzles and coloring and, like, flashcards. That's just, that's just the truth. I'm not jumping up and down with you. But I'm saying, like, if you, if you like, on your phone or watching TV while they're doing anything, like, just engage because they're not going to be like that when they get older. When they get older, they're going to be telling you, Mom, don't kiss me on the cheek. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Those are my five things. It's obviously more stuff I wish I knew. If y'all like this video, I'll do more videos like this. Um, I just want to try something different for Vlogtober. I'm experimenting with my channel. But yeah, uh, I will post a link below for my pregnancy journey. Um, and yeah, just, I don't know. Hope you guys have a good day. Uh, comment below, like, if you're expecting, if you're a mom. I want to know, like, with my subscribers and like my family, that's what I feel like we gonna be as family. I wanna know like, you know, where y'all at in your motherhood phase or your fatherhood phase, you know, I don't know who's following me. But yeah, love you guys. See you guys tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that because it's Vlogtober. But yeah, 